this video, we'll explore the product and quotient rules. So the product rule is going to be used whenever you have two functions being multiplied together, so two expressions of x multiplied together. Um, when you do that, it's f of x times um, the derivative of g of x plus g of x times the derivative of f of x. I always found um, this formula a little bit overwhelming to try to memorize. So usually the way I do is I reorder this a little bit and use u's and v's instead of f of x's and g of x's. And you can write it this way. If you have the product of two functions u and v being multiplied together and you want to find the derivative, it's u prime, meaning the derivative of u, times v plus v prime u. The way I memorize this or the way I speak it in my head is I usually think of it this way. It's the derivative uh, the, pr the derivative of a product, two functions being multiplied, is the derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. We can look at uh, the quotient rule as well, so two functions being divided. And if you have that, this is uh, the typical formula that's found in textbooks, but more simply it can be written like this. If you have two functions u and v being divided and you want to find the derivative, so u over v prime, it's going to be u prime v minus v prime u all over v squared. The way I usually say this is the derivative of a quotient is the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the, bot the derivative of the bottom times the top all over the bottom squared. It's really important when using the quotient rule that you write all of this in the correct order. You can, um, instead of writing u prime v, you could write it as v u prime, that's okay, but you can switch around um, these two sets of terms or else you'll get the wrong sign on your answer. So be very careful with the quotient rule. All right, so let's uh, do a couple examples. Let's find the derivative of y equals 3x to the fifth times 2x minus one. So looking at this, we essentially have two functions of x being multiplied together. The first function, the 3x to the fifth, we can call u, and the second function we can call v. And recall from the previous slide that if you want to take the derivative of two things being multiplied, it's the derivative of u times v plus the derivative of v times u. Okay, so let's try it. So if we want to find y prime, or dy dx, if you prefer to write it that way, it's the derivative of u. So that's going to be, let's see, 3x to the fifth, the derivative of that, you bring the 5 down. 3 times 5 is 15. x to the subtract 1 from the power gives you 4. So uh, the derivative of 3x to the fifth is just 15x to the fourth times v. So we take v just the way it is. So that's just going to be 2x minus 1 plus the derivative of v, um, let's see, the derivative of 2x is just 2, and the derivative of 1 is 0, so the derivative of v is just 2, times just the first, so just u. So it's 3x to the fifth. Now let's distribute this out and simplify. Let's see here, uh, 15x to the fourth times 2x would be 30, because 15 times 2 is 30. Um, x to the fourth times x would be x to the fifth minus, let's see, 15x to the fourth minus times minus one would just be minus 15x to the fourth. And then let's see, two times three times x to the fifth would just be six x to the fifth. So now we can combine like terms here. We have two x to the fifth terms. Those are like, and you can only combine like terms. So let's see, 30x to the fifth plus six x to the fifth gives you 36 x to the fifth minus 15x to the fourth. And so that is our answer. Or is it? I think it's our answer. Well, we can check this if we're not too sure of ourselves. Let's try to work this problem the old way. So looking at this question again, is the actual derivative of the 30x to the fifth minus 15x to the fourth that we found? Well, let's try rewriting this expression where it's not a multiplication. So let's rewrite y as, well, let's distribute from the start. So 3x to the fifth times 2x, 
would be 6x to the 6th, and then 3x to the 5th minus 1 is just 3x to the 5th times minus 1a. All right, now let's take the derivative. So using the power rule, the 6 comes down, and you get 36x to subtract 1 from the power, you get 5. Um, derivative of 3x to the 5th, the 5 comes down, you get 15, because 3 times 5 is 15. x to subtract 1 from the power, you get 4. Yeah, that's right. That's what we want it to be. Okay, so it looks like the product rule does actually work. Let's, um, let's look at the quotient rule. So here you see that we have a quotient, we have two things being divided, and there is really no easy way to simplify this. So we are actually going to want to use the quotient rule. And the idea is that we're going to call this top u and the bottom v. And recall that if you do have u over v and you want to find the derivative, it's u prime v minus v prime u all over v squared. All right, so let's do it. Okay, so we want to do the derivative of u first. Well, the derivative of 4x is just 4 times v, and v just as it is, so just the denominator just the way it is, so it's x cubed plus 2, minus, because there is a minus here, um, the derivative of v, so that is, uh, let's see here, a uh, derivative of x cubed is just, the derivative of x cubed is just 3x squared, and the derivative of 2 is 0, so we can just leave it that the way it is. Um, times v, and v is just 4x. Um, sorry, u. Uh, u is just 4x. And then we're going to uh, divide this by the bottom squared. So the bottom squared is just x cubed plus 2 squared. And you could distribute the bottom if you like, but usually there's no benefit into doing so, because we might want to check to see if things simplify or cancel in the end, and if you already distributed it, it's going to be more difficult. So just leave that the way it is, but let's uh, distribute the top. So let's see here. Um, 4 times x cubed is 4x cubed. 4 times 2 is 8. Okay, and we want to distribute this. Well, there's nothing really to distribute. You're just multiplying. So 3 times 4 is 12x cubed. And all this gets divided by our denominator. Um, well, we do have like terms here, so let's combine them. And we have, uh, there, that will give you 4x minus 4x cubed minus 12x cubed will give you negative 8x cubed plus 8 all over x cubed plus 2 squared. Um, it looks like something might cancel out between the numerator and the denominator, but if you do factor out, um, an 8, you're going to have a negative in front of the uh, x cubed, and you're going to have a 1 over here, so it's not going to simplify. Um, all right, um, we're done. Um, I hope this uh, lesson helps, and um, as always, let me know if you have any questions.